I think, of course, markets will continue looking at the Brexit, at the Brexit negotiations. But the only thing that markets know is they don't know anything. Um, so it's standing for, on the sidelines, watching what's going to happen politically in, uh, in Great Britain. Um, but I think for the rest of the week, it could be rather quiet because the big next highlight will be Sunday's EU summit when, uh, when then European government leaders meet in order to, uh, to agree on the Brexit treaty. And this will then put another pressure on the British government. And also, given that it's Thanksgiving in the U.S. at the end of the week, I think it's going to be a rather low volatility this week, uh, waiting what's going to happen on Sunday. And then the next steps in the political game in the U.K. will only come after the European summit, that is the week after, when then, with the pressure of European government leaders, then the U.K. Parliament will really have to decide whether or not they're going to sign this Brexit treaty. I think the, the pound nicely reflects volatility and, uh, and we will see this uncertainty. It might be that another minister um, steps down in the, in the UK and every time we get political news from the, from the UK, we will see some volatility in the pound. But right now it's, it, it's impossible to say which direction the pound is really heading to.